What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today we're doing another tool review video. After our first tool review video with JMB Tool Sales, I was on their website again and I found these channel lock screwdriver sets. Um, now this isn't just a regular screwdriver set, it's actually got these metal caps on it um, to give it a lot more strength. So I asked them if I could do a review video on this set and of course they said yes. So uh, I'm going to unbox this or I should say I'm going to rip apart this plastic and we'll talk about these screwdrivers and compare them to the other ones that I have and uh, hopefully you enjoy this one and hopefully these turn out to be as awesome as I'm thinking they might be. There's got an easier way. There probably was, but I'm just too stupid to figure it out. Okay. So there we have it, all seven screwdrivers. Okay, so here are the seven screwdrivers that we got. Um, it's got four flatheads and three Phillips. Now here is the main reason why I wanted these. This right here is the main reason I wanted these. These are steel caps. And according to the picture on here, they go all the way through the screwdriver. Now on the back of here it says, do not use screwdriver as chisel set or pry bar. Now we all know that a lot of us use flathead screwdrivers for almost everything that they're not made to be used for. Um, so, a lot of screwdrivers, like like these that I have, here's a Mako and a Craftsman, and a Harbor Freight one, these do not have steel caps on them. So when you hit these with a hammer, they could possibly chip or break, um, or just not put all the energy all the way through. So with these steel caps, it's literally steel all the way through to the very tip of here. These are also magnetic screwdrivers. Now I'm going to test out um, to see just how strong their magnets are. So that's pretty good. Um, it's supposed to be magnetic. I can feel it sticking, but it doesn't want to lift up the screwdriver. This is a Harbor Freight one. Um, it's magnetic, but it's not lifting up the screwdriver. And here's a Craftsman, it's not magnetic. No magnet at all. I'm not comparing these screwdrivers necessarily to their exact competitor. I am just comparing them to the ones that I have, which is a Harbor Freight, Echo, and a Craftsman one. And as you just saw, this one obviously has the much better magnet on it, which is awesome because I hate dropping screws and bullets. It's really, really, really annoying. Um, another thing that they advertise for these is that um, the three-sided grip is actually pretty big. So I'm going to compare the different sizes. All three of these have the same size screwdriver tip. So it should be a fair comparison of size. So here we have my caliper. I'm going to measure the diameter of this. Point. 0.68 of an inch. Point 0.69 if you hold it like that, or if you hold it like you're normally going to hold it. Point 0.51. And this is even smaller. Point 0.23. And I don't have a comparable Harbor Freight one, but just for comparison, this is. 0.24, so this screwdriver with the actual smaller tip than the Craftsman is actually bigger, which is freaking stupid. I don't even know why I bought these Craftsman ones, but so these have a much larger handle, which will give you more leverage, and they have this nice little dimple right here to put your thumb in, so it actually feels really nice in your hand. Now, I'm going to try to put these through a stress test and see if I can break, I don't want to break this Matco because this has sentimental value to it but I'm going to hammer on 
these three screwdrivers like they were not meant to be used for it and see if I can get these two to break or one of them to break and see how well this one stands up. Put on your eye protection for this. Okay, so the Harbor Freight one did not last too long. So after a few whacks, the Craftsman didn't crack as bad, but you can see that it indeed did break. And it went flying across the room! That is why you wear safety glasses. But as you can see, it's intact. Very much intact. No cracks. A little bit of the plastic came off down here because it was grooving into the vise, but no cracks. Okay, so I think that was a pretty good test. Now, like I said, I wasn't comparing these to their actual competitors. I was just comparing them to the screwdrivers that I had. And for the stress test, the channel lock one definitely came out on top with flying colors. The Harbor Freight one cracked with just a few wax. This one didn't crack nearly as bad, but it's dented and it has some fractures to it. But this one came out flawlessly. Um, now I know that what I just did is not what these are made for. It was just showing how tough they are. A situation that you would actually be doing that to these screwdrivers though, is on, I think Hondas and some other cars, they use a screw to hold the brake rotor on. And a lot of times, those screws get stuck very, very bad. And a lot of time you have to drill and tap them out or just drill them out. But what you can do with these, since they have a metal cap on it, you can put this on the screw and if you hit it, it'll break up the rust and it can make it come out a lot easier. Now that's why I really like these. These are Phillips and a lot of Phillips that I've had on the Supra, um, on the coil packs that they are rusted in. If I had these when I did that, instead of having to drill them out, you just set them on and you hit it and it will break the rust loose and make it come off a lot easier. Now with the flatheads, if you're going to use it as a chisel or some kind of gasket scraper or something, if you're trying to maybe get a motor mount out or just anything, these metal caps really, really help out. Now once again, it's not what these are made for. It's not what they tell you not to use them on that, but you all know that you guys use these screwdrivers for those kind of reasons. To protect themselves on this so people aren't using the, the metal cap for what I just did, they say, oh, we uh, laser etched what kind of screwdriver it is on here. If you have it sitting in a drawer or, or hanging or whatever, it's really easy to tell what kind of screwdriver it is. Well, that's what their theory was, but I don't think it worked out too well. So as you can see, that is how it's laser etched. You have to look at it at, like a, at a really good angle to really tell what it is. Like right there, you can hardly see it. From far away, you can't really tell what it is. Here's a Phillips one, the one that I beat on. So after a little bit of wear and tear, it's not really visible what it is. And I think it's a lot easier and a lot quicker to look at the tip of the screwdriver than to figure out by looking at the back of it what kind of screwdriver it is. I can tell it's a flathead. I can tell it's a flathead. I can tell it's a flathead. I can tell that's a Phillips. I can tell that's a Phillips. But with this, if you have kind of crappy vision, you're not going to be able to tell what that is. They should have done it a different color, or if the cap was black and then that was gray, it would have been a lot more visible, but kind of like a silvery metal on a gray, it's not that visible. Um, I think they could have done a better job with that, but that's not why I bought these screwdrivers. I bought these screwdrivers because of this metal cap. These are really going to come in handy. Um, you, can even use them, you can even use them as a hammer. You know, If you need to tap something in you, and you don't have a hammer or you don't need a five pound sledgehammer, you can use this as a hammer. I mean, it'll definitely work. It's gonna have its purpose. Um, I think these are gonna be a really good addition to my toolbox. I'm gonna throw away or move aside all my crappy Harbor Freight screwdrivers for sure. And probably uh, I'll do something with these because I can't, I don't know why I would use these over these. They're just going to be so much better. The only reason I could see why you would want to use these two over these is if you need to get these in a really small spot and you can't get these in there because these have 
a larger grip on them for more leverage. But I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to make these my primary screwdriver now. So I really like these screwdrivers. I think they look awesome. They feel awesome. Um, they are made in China and I don't think they have a warranty. That's the only downfall. Um, but as you just saw, I beat the hell out of it and nothing really happened. And they're not that expensive either. So I really like these. I think they're going to come in handy, especially if I come across stupid, rusty bolts, flatheads or whatever. I can use these to hit them. So I really like these screwdrivers. Um, I hope you guys like them just as much as I do. I want to thank JMB Tool Sales for hooking me up with these. Um, I think they're going to come in handy. They're going to be a great addition to my toolbox. Um, and if you like these, go check them out at JMB Tool Sales. Um, I'll have a link in the description so you can go check them out. And if you don't like these, you should still go to their website and check out their tools because they have an awesome selection of tools. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tool review video. Hope you like these. And uh, I will see you guys next time.